Oh my god, Petey's evolving! What is this? We are getting to start the episode with an evolution, but holy crap, he's oh! What? So, congratulations, your Petey evolved into a sir superior. Thank God I can don't have to say that. I can just call him Petey. But oh, ah. He looks kind of cool. I don't like how his head's like a lighter shade, but he's completely different from Petey. And this happened while I was in the middle of training in Chargestone Cave, so I guess I will come back. I'll, I will come back to you, dudes. I will go back to the outside the gym and we will get this episode started. Why did I say it like that? Ha 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 ha. Oh my god, did I just run into an Exadrill? Oh my god, yes! I was gonna make a whole ep- Why am I calling it Exadrill? That's his evolution. I ran into a Drillbur! I was gonna make a whole episode on, on like, going on the hunt for Drillbur. But now, apparently, I just run into it. Like, I, I, you probably saw it in the clip. I just ran into it without even trying. I was just running, and I was like, Hey, hey, how you doing? Oh my god, an Exadrill! Oh my god, oh my dude! Oh my dude! Dude! Uh, so I'm gonna go out to Z, bro. That's probably gonna be the best decision here. This would be awesome if we finally have our full team. And, oh, come on. Dribbler, I'm going to catch you. Don't be a sock. Please don't be a sock. I will kill you. Actually, no, I don't want to kill you. You're a nice guy. I just, don't be a sock. And don't die, Z, bro. Don't be strong. Don't be strong. Okay, good. Um, I know he's park ground type, so we can't paralyze him. I'm not gonna go burn him with, uh... Litwick, so let's just throw an ultra ball and I'm just gonna keep you here so you don't die. Come on, Drillbler! Catch! Please! Uno! Dose! Trace! Hell yeah! Freaking Drillbler! One try, not like last time where he got critted in one shot. We finally got him! Thank you! Thank you, Lord! It can dig through Drillbur. Mole Pokemon. It can drill through the ground at a speed of 300 miles per hour. It could give a, good, a car a it could give a car running above ground a good race. That's an odd thing to put in a Pokedex entry. But now to the gym with our fully completed team that I think I'm going to keep. That's so awesome! I just like ran into it right as the episode starts. And the rappel ends right there. This is just my lucky day, isn't it? And now it's summertime in the game so everything looks cooler. Hey guys, Saves Untitled here, and I'm back from that evolution and that awesome catch after trading a bunch of items around, and I should probably turn my sound down so it doesn't echo. But if you notice, now the game has turned the outside place from spring to summer. I Yeah, I think it was on spring, and now everything looks a lot brighter and a lot happier. So it looks like we're going to do this episode right. Wait, what am I talking about? We're going to do this episode, and we're going to do it into this gym. And I don't know why I said it like that. Let's get our fresh water from the old dude. Please take this fresh water. At least he's up front about it. He knows I don't care about you telling me that you're a flying gym leader. Rock, electric, ice, flying types have more weaknesses than people know about. If you use a Pokemon and moves of those types, your pra victory is practically yours. By the way, you can... To proceed in this gym, you climb in the cannons to move forward. The cannons go up, down, left, and right. You can get in them from anywhere. Freaking cannons? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Oh my god! That he did not look like he was falling out of a cannon. He just looked all like nonchalantly. He was just like, eh, whatever. I'm getting exploded. He just his sprite stays exactly the same throughout the entire area. That's just like, okay. This puzzle is odd, I guess. It's an odd way to get yourself through a gym. And it looks like we have to fight this dude, and I can start my topic that someone in the comments gave me a good idea. Oh, and I should actually do it for this gym, because I forgot I remember to turn the sound up. What do you think about the cannons? Can, can, a cannon, and what do you think about Nanano? What do you think about Nanano? What do you think about the cannon? Isn't it great that you can experience a hell flying Pokemon? That didn't work. But the topic I wanted to talk about that was brought up by Luigi Trollface that I kind of tweaked his question. He asked down in the comments, and I was going to reply to it, but I was like, hmm, this would make a good video topic. He was like, Tranquil. Mm. And also, I started this battle off with Drillbur, who also I need to come up with a creative nickname for. Before I jump into my topic, I will talk about nicknames and, hmm, who do I want to switch out to? Well, Zebra is going to be a huge use to us during the, throughout this entire gym, I already know this. So, let's switch out the Zebra and get his uh, 
experience up. But I'm I'm like debating on a nickname for uh what's his name? Litwick. I I kind of want to do uh what I'm thinking is I kind of want to do uh you know how if you've ever played Luigi's Mansion, you know how all the boos have different names? I was thinking that I would name Dang Z bro. Yeah, bro. But I was thinking I would name uh and I'm gonna do the little switch out, get the XP to the person who's not fully evolved. I was gonna name him after the one of the boos in the game. If you guys have any other suggestions of what I should do, some of the, like, I picked like a couple names out of there, and I picked one of the one of the dudes who's the boss in the game. But, I, these are like a couple of those names I would want to use. Like, like, Boo Regard, Game Boo, Kung Boo, Peekaboo, Boo Hoo, Boo Losses. And someone made, I, I think it was... Dinosaur 64, I can't remember your name exactly, but he made a great analogy to me trying because I gave him this idea a little bit in advance in the comments because he asked what I was going to nickname it. He said comparing a Litwick to a Boo is comparing like a donut to a. It's, it's like, ah, something about a donut. Like, it's still sweet. No, comparing a donut to candy. It's still sweet, but it's not candy. I thought that was a great analogy. I'm, uh, if you have, I, you haven't noticed already. I love using analogies for things. So I thought that was really like a great analogy. But what do you think about any of those nicknames? Pick your favorite down below, or come up with your own. He also said Nightlight. I think that's a good one too. Vote for that one too down in the comments below, and the one you guys like the best, and the one I like the best will be picked. And also Exadrill. If you have any names for him, I'm completely drawing a blank on him and what is this dude looking at i want to fight him for some reason in order to to do empire i am practicing really hard oh that was it i thought he was gonna have another line so i clicked it so i could sing along with that but apparently not and he's looking for something with his lights wait weren't all the people in the last gym all workers too that makes no sense and why does he have a water type i guess more the merrier Maybe he's- oh, he's probably water flying type. He's like a wingle type creature. Hmm. So let's, uh, let's toss up for the zebra again. But the top guy I wanted to talk about in this video that was mentioned by Luigi Trollface, he asked me down in the comments below if, uh, let me scroll up to it because I wrote this whole thing on it so I remember what I was talking about. Where is it? He asked me what my top five Nintendo series were and I could do that, but that wouldn't be as interesting because it wouldn't be like my top five video game series. So I did top time, top five video game series instead. And I will start out at number five, which is also number four because I really couldn't decide between these two because there's not really enough entries in these series. And yay, Drillberg already got a level. Woo bat. Huh. Woo bat. I'll, I'll take a, whatchamacallit, I'll take a little look out for this. But I'll start with number five slash 4. I did Bioshock and Portal for this. There's not enough entries in both of these series to give a huge judgment if I really, like, these could be greater. Like, I would put Fallout on this list. It was, it, It's my uh, quote-unquote honorable mention, but I really can't put it on this list because I've only played Fallout 3. I mean, I love that game a lot. It, oh, I put Spell Tag on him. That's what I did. I really love that game a lot, but I've only played Fallout 3 and it, Litwick is probably going to die. Uh... Hopefully he doesn't get- oh, he went for Calm Mind, that works too, but I really can't decide because I've only played one in that, and this is top five video game series, so that's not a series, so that can't be on this list, and Jesus, Litwick, like a mouse, even though he's nothing like a mouse, but I don't care. So, and we fought that guy who we probably didn't even fight with ease. Now, on to the next cannon, but Bioshock, I just- I, I love this series a lot, and I hate that Bioshock Infinite got freaking pushed back. I already complained about that in episode, but really, Bioshock Infinite. Ooh, singing time. I became a pilot, which was has been my dream since I was a child. Was a child. Was was a child. Child. I am extremely strong. I am so freaking strong. I'm so strong. Let's come bring it on. <laughs> such a bad singing voice but I hate the Bioshock Infinite got pushed back in uh, solo to you pilot dead and also there's probably not gonna be a portal 3 because Valve can't freaking count the three no Half-Life 3 which I still have to play the rest of that series I really should get to that maybe that would be on that list too if I wasn't so damn lazy and uh, yeah they can't count the three no Left 4 Dead 3 no Portal 3 
I, I don't really think the Portal series has much where to go unless they started much where to go. Unless they started a new series. Maybe they could make a game about Bratman, but I don't think he had like a had a back well he did have a really good story if you look in this thing. There's also a fan main film that came out a couple days ago. I watched it, it was really cool. I forget what it was called. It I I wish I could think of it, but it was just really cool and I can I it wasn't cool enough for me to remember it though, but what I like about Bioshock after I went off on that huge rant is it's just it has such a great storytelling, especially the second game. I think the second game is so much better than the first. Hate on me if you want, I don't know. A lot of people say the second one sucks. I love the dual guilding, I love how it's such a more engrossing story. I mean the first one is like your first entrance to the rapture and stuff, but the story for the second one's just clearly better. And we are just ripping through this gym. This is like this is like the last gym with Petey, but I think it had like twice as many people. And I should probably not say that now, because it looks like there's a ton of people in this gym, and this just sent us back to this dude. Okay. And now I'm yawning, even though I just... Oh, I did just wake up, but I just drank like a whole thing of Pepsi, and why am... Oh, can I just walk over here? No! Apparently there's an invisible wall there. Okay, now what can I do? I don't know what am I doing. We have, I don't understand puzzles and gyms. Uh that we can't go there okay am I missing something like seriously I go in this one. Oh, there's a side entrance that you only see when you get shot from the cannon that way I should be really more observant explosions and now we get sent over here and then we probably go over and that guy looks at us while we're being fired and then we fight this dude and why is this great here Are we just gonna like fall through it magically but Oh, singing time, I was about to go into the topic, but Target, lock acquired I will shoot you down with my flight technique Flight technique, flight technique, na 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 Technique, 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 technique And also something awesome about Bioshock is It has really enjoyable gameplay, the characters are very rememberable And what kind of name for a Pokemon is that? Un- I, I can't pronounce- Unpheasant, okay, I thought I was just really bad at pronouncing things and why does it have a mask on? It looks like the third evolution of the Pidgey of this game, but it just, they added a mask. They're like, hmm, what can make this Pokemon cooler? MASK! Let's add a mask! Their creativity must have been hard making like the 600 Pokemon. There's gonna be, if they make the about the same amount of Pokemon as uh, they did for the next generation, if there is a next generation, I have no idea where Nintendo's plan to go with this, but there's gonna be like 800 Pokemon. It's gonna be freaking ridiculous, but... Yeah, and also Bioshock is awesome music that sets up a bunch of the scenes in that game. Like, if you want to hear an awesome song from that with awesome violins and Drill Burr gaining more levels, Rockside, oh, he'd actually be a use to us in this gym. Uh, let's see. How much damage does it do? 75 power with 90 accuracy. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think. I'm probably not going to use home claws and I, I think I can get sword stance for him later in the game if I really want that. So I think we'll take out home claws with it just an a attack and accuracy boosting move. Maybe I'm going to feel bad about that but I can always go to the move remember girl that I talked about in that earlier episode where I went all smart up on it. So now we go in this thingamajigger. Boom shakalaka and I still that disturbs me how his sprite is just normal when he does that. And I did not want to go into my menu. I would just want to fight this dude. And they all have the same pre-fight theme. My plans are perfectly honed. I cannot lose. And I'm not even going to get to the top of this list, so I must go faster. Portal also has great storytelling. It has a lot of the same things that Bioshock has. And he only has one Pokemon, but it's a small bat who I think looks really ugly. But... It has all, a lot of the same things, awesome storytelling, great voice acting, uh... Trevor, let's give you a shot and try Rock Slide on this dude. And Calm Mind, that's good for me, because I attack with the physicals. Own him! And I don't- I'm surprised Drillbird didn't outspeed him, I- Drillbird has like ridiculous speed. And also ridiculous attack that he's owning through him, and why are you just boosting your move so much? Who cares? You're gonna die next turn. Do you know I'm a physical attacker? But- Poodle has a lot of the same uh, elements, it has great storytelling, and has enjoyable gameplay. The music not so much in the first one, and Jesus, that's a lot of XP. The music not so much in the first one, but the music in the second one is a lot better. And obviously, not counting, uh... Oh! No, I'm think I can't think of the... Cake is a lot- Oh my god, what's the song called? 
for first portal game. I know second one's once you gone, and I like once you gone better. Uh, uh, this was a try. I'm making a note here. Huge success. Uh, the, 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 the people still live. Still live is a great song, but I I think I would fall better. Hate me because I'm beautiful, but uh, and we're apparently being blessed through rings now. Uh, but I think once you gone is so much better of song. More rings, and this one's purple. Another rings. Are we already at the gym leader? Jesus. Ow. <laughs> That must have been- I love how like, his, his fright just stays nonchalant through that. And I might even have to continue this topic in a next video. In a next video. And I have to go heal, so I'll be right back. Wow! So I guess now that we're back into the gym, and this is probably going to take a while unless this thing completely blasts me right back to the girl. No. So I guess I'll continue talking about with this with number three on my list. And this might have to be in two episodes. And, uh, let me make sure I do this right, and I- This is why I'm not gonna get this done this episode, because I have to try to focus on things and still do things. Kingdom Hearts is three on my list. It's a game I- I started liking when I was, like, like, five years ago, a couple years ago. It's- it's just a really awesome game. I mean, ever since that one time my cousin introduced it to me, and then I, like, didn't get to play it for, like, two or three years, because I didn't know, like- what system it on and all that and I didn't feel like looking that much and I did the exact same thing I did before but it, it just the the major thing about it that I love is the plot the plot just keeps you guessing and actually makes you feel for the characters in games where you can actually like feel for the characters and you just like really care what happens it's they're just awesome games like birth by sleep and three five six over two days which are my two favorite games out of the series they're just they're such awesome games especially with like how you uh, I just can't explain it. I really want to let's play those games, but the one I want to let's play out of those two is going to be hard to do. But I need to get a lot of, I need to get some things to do that, which is why that let's play will be coming sometime in the future, hopefully. But I don't know. I don't want to talk about that now because that's not the game I have. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking and spoiling my next let's play and just. The gameplay is also awesome, and I didn't get to do the thing about flashing into the wall. That disappoints me. I wasn't looking at it. I was looking at my paper. And just the gameplay, how they tweak it in between all the games and keep it fresh is awesome. And now we must look at Skyla. And uh, let me just finish this up. And I just love the music in Kingdom Hearts 2. Ven's theme, uh, Xion's theme. There's just so many good songs for that game. They're simple and clean. There's all that. I just love the music in the game, and it looks like... This, uh, topic is not gonna be continued- well, maybe it might be continued while we're fighting Skyla, usually, like, talking about the battles when we're fighting the gym leaders, but maybe this will be continued in the next episode, so you have to stay along and watch to hear my top two. Hehe, <laughs> I've been waiting for you. Did you enjoy flying with the help of the Mistralton gym cannons? They're my pride and joy. This time, let's try something else. Something else? Is this gonna be like a rotation battle for the gym leader? That would be weird and also kind of cool. You were challenged by Leader Skyla. Leader Skyla sent out Swoobat! Hi Swoobat, I still think you're really ugly. Hopefully you'll be as dumb as the Swoobat we fought earlier in the gym and I can just- Wow, Drill Bird is still already getting up to level. Hopefully you'll be as dumb as the other one and just keep stat boosting while I rock slide you to death. And Drillbur really doesn't have any good abilities. I mean, he probably he's a good ability for like competitive or like double battles. When I think about a, a match with a tra fabulous trainer like you, it's like I'm walking on air. Oh, hey, Skyla, how you doing? And what is heart stamp? That seems like a very oh what? I flinched. Ah, uh, come on, Drillbur, I speed him. Are you something stupid? <laughs> ah, crap. I thought I could possibly do that, but no. Hmm. Who do I want to bring in here? Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna take the Litwick on this one and hope I can outspeed him by a little bit. Hmm. Let's see. Can I hex him? Oh no, that probably is going to kill. Oh wow, Litwick hanging in there like a boss. Now kill him. Yeah, I really like Litwick. Litwick is probably one of the favorite members of my team now. Something about him I dislike, and that's the evolution of the duck thing. Now to bring in Zebro just to completely destroy it. Zebro has been a lot less of a help. Well, he didn't gain as many levels as PD did. That's because, well, with PD we weren't doing the switch out thing that we did with Drillbert. But, hmm. 
Just Zebro hasn't been as a beast in this gym as before. He needs a better move than Spark. I mean, Spark is pretty decent for a physical. Holy crap, I take that back. Spark is still a pretty good move. And you gain a lot more XP from Pokemon in this game. It might just be me, or it just the levels are higher. Ah, as soon as I ask for a better electric move, here we are. But I'm pretty sure Discharge is... Yeah, it's a special move, huh? That's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Even though it's only a tiny bit, it's only, it's uh, Spark is 65 and this is 80, but it's a special attack, it's not worth it. Our, our moveset's pretty good from now on. So let's give up on Discharge. By the way, because you can't see our moveset, I will tell you as soon as he switches out to un Unpheasant. This this Pokemon is very Unpheasant, if you know what I'm saying. And that just looks like a very ugly pigeon. And I if I one-shot this after this epic music comes on, wait, I want to wait for the set off. I love this theme. I, I love the final Pokemon for the boss theme. And they just set this up perfectly. Oh yeah, by the way, my moveset for uh, Zebra is Thunder Wave, Quick Attack, Flame Charge, and Spark. So, and let's kill on Pheasant. Just utterly destroy it. And I wanted to take you off my team, Zebra. How does that make you feel? Oh, hanging on with a little bit. Le Leer? Really? Leer. That's what this big bad fifth gym leader is going to use on us. Leer. And a Hyper Potion, wow. Girl, you crazy, why are you using that Hyper Potion? You know you're gonna die. What the hell are you doing out there in here? And... Nope. Even though I shouldn't have to expect more Quick Attack, you're not even gonna... Really? Really? Do you, do you really want to just extend this battle? You know you're gonna lose, there's no point in you using that. And now you won't even have the time to, because you did. And watch, I'll get a critical on this for no apparent reason. What? Yeah, what? Oh, 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 oh. You're kidding me! You're kidding me! That much left? Quick attack! Die! Okay, thank God she doesn't have a third hyper potion of her belt. And or maybe she just realized, hey, you're gonna die. Just deal with it. Because if you, you, I can't read those things. They go away too fast. You're an amazing Pokemon, Dre. Don't have to tell me it twice, girl. My Pokemon and I are happy because in. For the first time in a while, we could fight with our full strength. But you lost! Oh, a burn! Oh! This is an official League Gym badge. League Gym badge? Okay, that wasn't me re 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 reading it wrong. That just sounds like a weird sentence. I think it will look good on you. Oh, everything looks good on me, lady. And how come I always creep on all the girl characters in Pokemon? Because I can! Because I can! I'm a freaking Let's Player. I take that back! That was our 6th gym badge, I believe? I can't believe we're always 6 gyms into this game. I want to figure out more of the story with Team Plasma, though. I want to know what's happened. Wow! Wow! Hot stuff! Don't have to tell you that twice, Miss Lady. With that many gym badges, a Pokemon up to level 70 will obey you. Also, it's thanks for a, a Pokemon battle that made me very happy. Oh, thank you. I wanted you to have this TM. Scott obtained uh, TM62 Acrobatics. My present to you is Acrobatics. I didn't mention this in the TMs we can get in the game, in the thing where I went all small, smart, 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 smart on Miss Stroughton City. But, uh, this is not the TM we want. This is the, not the droids we're looking for. The other one we want I will get after we exit this gym if we're not attacked by something that always seems to happen when we leave things. But when I say it, they don't happen. And I am crazy talking to myself. If the user doesn't have a held item, it's power doubles. Hm. That's a pretty technical move. Be sure to compensate for the lack of a held item. By the way, when I flew over Twist Mountain on the way to... I... I Icarus, Icarus, I see Russ, I Icar Icarus City. I'm gonna go with that. Team Plasma is the name? Anyway, they were heading for the city. What kind of people are they? They're evil people. Let's go get them. Cannonball. Na 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 na. Wow, my sprite still changed the same. Nintendo, you're so lazy, you couldn't even add a sprite for flying. And? Oh, he's being one of those guys who's just waiting for the battle. He's waiting to look at us. He's like, hmm. Or maybe he was just like staring us through the windows. He's like, ha, ha, look at this guy. Ha, he's flying through the cat. Oh, God, he's coming. What, what do I do? Uh, 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 uh. I'm N. I'm creepy anyway. Who cares? They may say 
It is for understanding one an another better. But what trainers really use battles is for for is to compete. And they hurt each other's Pokemon. Am I the only one who finds this terribly painful? Whatever. I'm going to talk to your Pokemon. That sounds really creepy. That sounds like it could be an innuendo. I've been living with Pokemon since I was born, so it's easier for me to talk to with them than people. Well, that explains your uh, very uh, nice people skills, where you just wait and sit sit for us outside this thing. You take us onto a Ferris wheel without even asking, just waiting for us. Well, whatever. I like your character, and because Pokemon never tell lies. Oh, you saying I'm a liar? I ain't calling you a truther. Hey, Stoutland. Would you tell me what kind of trainer Scott is? Rap, rap, wow, ran he's a ran rush trainer. Rap, I can't do a scurido. Rap. Okay, okay, got it. So Scott was born in New New Vem New. I still can't pronounce things. Town lives with mom. I don't live with my mother. Oh, don't. Uh, and was given the Pokedex to start off a journey to see the world. Still, the Southland trusts you for some reason. That's good. If every person in Pokemon cared about one another like you two do, I could watch over the future of people in Pokemon without having to liberate Pokemon from people who just use them. Well, most people do this! 90% of the people love their Pokemon, unlike, like, Gary from Red and Blue. He's just an asshole. Getsies is using Team Plasma to search for some special stones. The Light Stone and the Dark Stone. These stones hold the essence of le two legendary Pokemon. It is said when they they lost their physical form, they fell into a slumber and they were transformed. Now, they wait for the hero's arrival. Me? Oh no, it's him. I shall resurrect the legendary dragon Pokemon from one. I pressed the wrong button and now the creepy music stops. Okay, there we go. I shall resurrect a legendary dragon type Pokemon from one of these stones and become its friend. I want to be his friend! That will show the world that I'm the new hero. I make friends with my Pokemon. He fights for his friends. Everyone will follow what I say. <laughs> and he shakes his head. Wow, his, his sprite has moving motions, Nintendo. Can't you do that for my sprite? I'm the freaking main character! My vision is to change the world without using force. Trying to change the world by force will just make others resist it. That's that's a pretty good idea, not gonna lie. If people resist, the ones that will that will be hurt are the innocent Pokemon used by foolish trainers. You understand, Scott. Pokemon are not just tools for people to use. As a result, Pokemon and trainers who care about one another, like you and your Pokemon, will be separated. And that does break my heart a little. But I'm in and I'm a freaking psychopath! Oh, la, la. Okay. So he's not a psychopath, but he was waiting for us outside the gym. So it looks like next time on Let's Play Pokemon Black. And I don't understand why they had this little thing there. It looks like there should be something secret there, but you'd probably have to use Get Out of the Map tricks to get out of there. But it looks like next time on Let's Play Pokemon Black, we will head out this direction unless this lady did when she's already here oh no we should probably check this dude who is going to give us a great move for Statland. was it you wow a jet badge you want to get skylar okay i'll tell you something cool we left our treasure on the end of the runway no i don't think that was you run away run away run away run away a technical chain on the runway is it is I'm looking for Aerial Ace. I know someone's supposed to give me Aerial Ace, but maybe it's just on the runway after I beat Skyla, or is it the one I already got? Uh, doesn't look like it. Or they just lied to me. Do you give me a TM? Okay, I will find out who gives me the TM on next time on Let's Play uh, Pokemon Black, because I thought that guy gave too, because he was like, hey, we'll give you something special if you beat Skyla, but apparently not. Any of you peoples? Nope. So I guess we'll see you guys next time. And my voice is dying. Cause Miss Stratton City has such an awesome theme. Miss Stratton City. I really need to. <coughs> Whatever. We'll do a drive.